All right, in this video, we're working on a Briggs & Stratton Q6500 um, generator, inverter. I'm not sure what they call this one, but you can see right here, the pull cord came out and never went back in. So we're gonna probably have to tear a lot of this plastic off to get in there and figure out what happened. All right, well, I haven't taken one of these apart before, but what I'm looking for it's just some screws on the outside on this plastic shell because we got to get in there and usually on most of these generators you know it's a plastic shell the screws hold everything on and uh once you kind of start popping some things off it gets a uh, pretty evident where everything's at inside there's a bunch of screws over here. I'm guessing this is the regular this service panel. Get into the oil and spark plug and this and that. Yep, spark plug, carburetor, oil. We'll just step that aside. Oh yeah, this is uh, coming loose. We got this handle thing that seems to want to be in the way. And I got two screws off down here. Now this pops out. Let's see, because I went I went to take these screws off and they're they're just spinning. And I think that's because there's these nuts right here that hold that on. That looks like a 10 or 11 millimeter. So that would be interesting putting these back in. Get my magnet. And it looks like I found some little eight millimeter bolts right here on the corner. And I probably gonna guess another one's on the other side. All right, now I need, I need to get this, this arm off. There's a couple of screws right down here at the bottom. So I'm hoping that this all comes out as one unit. And that big old long screw is there. got these other brackets that are holding on everything. All right, got that off. There's our recoil. So it looks like Next, you gotta get this pulled out. There's our recoil. It looks like we just got one, two, probably three bolts that hold that on.
All right, got it out of there. I'm just gonna cut the very end of the string off because the string looks pretty good. It's heavy duty. So we might be able just to reuse that. I just want to get this separated. All right, so now we just got to figure out like, do we need to replace this whole unit or what? And it's rough in there. There's like no spring at all. So you can remove that. Oh yeah, this spring is toast. I'll show you. You can see this piece right here should be hooked back here. A new part came in. So this is the one that is broken. And then here's the one that's good. So you can see how that spring is in there. So we just need to transfer over there are two little springs right in here. So we gotta put those over in this one and get it put back together. All right, so I got the spring back on the catch in the middle, a little bit of grease underneath there. Uh, don't forget to put the spring in and get your paws sitting in there. And then we put our cap back on. Then once you get your cap on, make sure it's right. So if it's in the machine, where's the pull cord at? There's the pull cord, it's gonna mount like that. So when you pull, it's gonna be turning this this way. And when you pull it, those paws should pop out. That's what catches the little cup inside. And then when you release, it goes back in. All right, next thing we need to do is put some tension on the spring. Um, how much, how many turns? Uh, I wish I knew. <laughs> um, we got all this rope and the cord goes all the way you know, through. I, I got the handle on it still. So I'm just gonna give it a bunch of turns here until it gets pretty tight. And then we're gonna tie it and see if we got enough turns. If not, then we will put some more turns in it. So the hole is right here and the hole is right there. So we're gonna, actually it's getting really, 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 really tight there. All right, I think I got it pretty close. And I use a screwdriver. Let's put a screwdriver in there to keep it from going back. And then we fish this through. And then we gotta get it to come through the center. One. So that can be the challenging part. All right, once you get it through, just tie yourself a good knot at the end. So you don't want to go back through. And then I always take a lighter and just kind of melt it together a little, just help it from coming apart. All right, and then pull the cord back. So it's like that. Make sure it's not caught up on anything. Pull your screwdriver out and let it wind itself up. Hope we got enough turns on it. And I think I did. Let's see. Yep. See there's tension on the cord. All right. Now to get these three bolts or three bolts <laughs> back in there to hold that up on there. All right, it is installed. Let's make sure that it's working. 
All right, it is working. So let's start putting it all back together. All right, so I'm at a point now where I just, I got that clamshell back on. I got a few more panels to put on, but we just wanna see if it's gonna run or not. Let's see, on, run, choke. I've already checked the oil. It's got gas in it. Let's see what it does. 